Hey guys, today I'll show you how to do wallet surveillance using Parsec. Let's say we want to monitor our wallet for any outgoing transactions or withdrawals so that we will be notified each time any funds are withdrawn from our account and we will be able to take measures if we see a hacker withdrawing funds from our account. First of all, we need to connect our Telegram to our Parsec. So let's go to Transport tab here. Click plus, choose Telegram. For now, we'll be using a private chat, though group chats are also available. Let's name it My Telegram. If you have Telegram installed on this machine, you can just click Connect Telegram. If you only have it on your smartphone, you can scan a QR code. I have it here, so I'll choose this option. Here we need to press start and now we are able to get notifications from Parsec in our Telegram. We have my Telegram transport here. So now let's create our first project to track our funds. Let's call it wallet surveillance. Let's start with creating a trigger using quick monitoring trigger wizard. We'll be monitoring a custom address. Let's copy paste it from my MetaMask. This is my demo account. Let's paste it here. This is an Ethereum address. We can also track ARC20 tokens, but now we'll be just tracking ETH. Let us send a message to my Telegram, adding trigger name and project name. Also, let us add some customization. Let's choose transfer type, withdrawal, because we are only interested in withdrawals. Now we can start monitoring. Okay, here you can see the trigger that we've just created. It is monitoring a custom address, this one. It's an Ethereum address. It's monitoring only withdrawals and sending all the data to my Telegram, adding trigger name and project name. Awesome. Now let's check whether it works. To do that, let's create a transaction from my wallet to a hacker's account, because we are simulating a hacker stealing funds from my account. We'll be sending a transaction from my account to demo hacker's account. 0 0.01 ETH. Next, confirm, and now let's see what's happening in my telegram. We'll be getting a notification here. We'll get a notification from Parsec and a notification from MetaMask. Let's wait until the transaction is mined. Okay, so you can see a notification from Parsec and a notification from MetaMask. As you can see, Parsec sends its notifications quicker than MetaMask. What do we see here? We see that quick monitor trigger was triggered because there was a transfer from this address to that address with the value of 0.01 ETH. So each time there is a withdrawal from the address that you have put for monitoring, you will be notified by Parsec in your Telegram. However, this might be not super convenient because we don't want to get notifications about all the transactions from and to our wallet. Let's do wallet surveillance with whitelisting. We'll add only allowed addresses to the whitelist and Parsec won't be notifying us about the transactions to these wallets. Let's go back to our project and let's create a new trigger and call it monitoring with whitelisting. Okay, let's create a trigger and take a look at it. As you can see, there is nothing here yet because we created an empty trigger. Let's compare it to the previous one the one we created using quick monitoring trigger wizard. As you can see, it has both 
quick monitoring and code editor representation. And you can see all the details here and all the details here. And this trigger has nothing like that because we created it from scratch, but not using quick monitoring trigger wizard. So we'll be adding some code here. I'll be copy pasting this code from my notes and you can copy paste it from below this video. Okay, so this is the code that will be tracking all the withdrawals to non whitelisted addresses. Let's see what it does. So it tracks all the transfers where from address is in my addresses table and to address is not in my addresses table. For now, you can see that Parsec gives us a warning about this table because we haven't added it yet. So Parsql doesn't know what my addresses is. So let's create a table called my addresses and add my whitelisted addresses there. To do so, let's go to user data and create record with the name my addresses. It will be a table of Ethereum addresses. Create user data. Now, let us add our allowed addresses here. I'll start with my main address and also I will add my exchange address. Add row, copy paste, save. So we created a table, my addresses. We have listed all the allowed addresses here. And now let's go to triggers, back to our trigger. You see that there is no warning here. However, in case you try to develop some of your own code, these warnings will be very useful. Let's save and deploy this trigger. However, we haven't set up any delivery channels yet, so we won't be getting any notifications from this trigger. Let's add my Telegram transport here, and we will need a template for a message that we'll be getting from Parsec. I will copy paste it from my notes, and you can copy paste it from below this video. Awesome. Now we'll be getting notifications about transactions to non whitelisted addresses. So let's check whether it works. Let's go to triggers and disable the previous trigger. Don't forget to disable the triggers that are not in use because they might deliver some unwanted notifications and also they might make your account run out of actions if they trigger a lot of events. Okay, so only this trigger is active. And now let's go to MetaMask, to my account, and let's send a transaction to my exchange account. 0 0.01 ETH. Next, confirm. Let's go to my Telegram. We won't be getting a notification from Parsec this time because we are sending a transaction to a whitelisted address. However, we will get a notification from MetaMask. Let's wait until the transaction is mined. Okay, so you can see that we can see a notification from MetaMask, but we don't have any notifications from Parsec and that's exactly what we expected. Now, let's go back to MetaMask and this time will be sending a transaction to a hacker's account, simulating a hacker stealing funds from my account. 0 0.01 ETH. Next, confirm. Let's go back to my Telegram. Now we will get a notification from Parsec and a notification from MetaMask. Awesome. You can see that Parsec notified us about our funds being transferred to some of the not whitelisted addresses. You can see both addresses and the value here. And also you can see a notification from MetaMask. So we have set up wallet surveillance using Parsec and now we will be notified each time there is a transaction from our address to one of the not whitelisted addresses. 
and thus we will be able to take measures in case we see any unexpected withdrawals. Thank you for your time. See you in the next video.